Hello Aries, thank you very much for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm going to use the Daily Matero by Renata Lechner. For the support of Oracle cards, the Magical Spell? Yep, Magical Spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. I thought it was on the back here somewhere. Well, her name is, but... Any who do. I've already shuffled. Relationship first, singles second. Let's see what we got. Aries. Aries. You got a lot of cards going on in this one spot. All right, it's going your way. I feel like things are gonna go well, just to be fair. Where to start, start here. Uh, where you're standing, the Knight of Cups, very happy with the relationship overall. Very happy with the relationship overall, but something is going on. Your partner seems to have gotten something, something went well for your partner. There's judgment in your favor for your partner. Whatever's going on for your partner, the way it's flowing over to you is like there's you have to take action. Something went well for them. I don't know if there's a promotion there or something went well for them. And they need a little extra help from you because of it. Like whatever whatever judgment went in their favor, they need your, your help to make this work out. Like something of theirs, I almost feel like a responsibility of theirs is something you're kind of taking over. And I'm getting the, the the King of Wands is like you're grabbing right hold of, the, hold of that. You're just doing it. I'm also seeing your challenge card, though, as the Eight of Wands, or Eight of Swords. You're feeling like you have no choice but to do this. Um, it, I don't feel like you're complaining to your partner, but I do get, like, it's, it's a little bit taxing for you. Like, whatever it is you're picking up, something goes in your partner's favor, you're, you're taking a hold of some of their responsibilities so they can do that, is what I'm getting. And I feel like your challenge card is the way you're looking at it, to be honest. Kind of like you have no choice but to, to do this. And I feel like it's taking up a little bit more of your time. One way or another, either it's taking up too much time or you're not really liking the situation. You're not liking to do this. But you're feeling like you have no choice but to do it. And I am getting here also, just so it makes more sense. In the spiritual spot, you have the Four of Cups with the creativity. All right, so first it's the Four of Cups. It's not really that bad, but it's not really something you want to do either, if that makes sense. But I'm seeing creativity kind of creep in here. And I feel like you're starting to have thoughts about, like spiritually, this is in your spot. Like it's really not something you want to do is what I'm getting. But creativity is creeping in here saying, you know what, even though you don't want to do this, maybe there's something else you can do to change or, you know, update this situation so maybe it's a little bit more pleasurable for you. Now, I feel like your partner, like, they're watching what you're doing and they're just trying to make sure you're going to be okay. They seem to think, they seem to be aware I shouldn't say they think, but they, they seem to be aware that you're not really over the moon about the situation. Um, <clears throat> and they're, they're keeping their eye on it, and they're trying to make sure that they're available to try to help you where possible. They're trying to give options and things like that. The health, with the, the health card with the, the, Knight of, or the Page of Swords, they're very perceptive in seeing what's going on. They're keeping an eye on the situation. But the health is telling me they're giving options or trying to find different ways for this to work out. They're trying to make it better and not worse. And they're, they're keeping their eye on the situation, but they're also trying to keep their eye out for other possibilities to help this mold forward a little better. Because they're afraid. They're afraid. This isn't going to happen. This isn't going to happen. But I feel like they're afraid they might lose what they gained. Whatever judgment went in their favor, they got in their challenge position, the death card. This Things are going differently. 
and that's a good thing, but I feel like the fear here is stronger that they might have to give it up because it causes too much too much stress on the relationship, too much stress on what was going well. I don't feel like that's happening. I feel like the challenge card, the reason this is the challenge card is because things are going a different way now. Things are going a little differently than they have. And the challenge is to actually hold on and go with the changes, but not feel like they're going to they're gonna have to give up so that, you know, happiness can return to the land, if that's a thing. But I'm also getting, spiritually, they have the Empress card, which don't get caught up in the gender, which is with all these cards, don't get caught up with the gender. But they're feeling like, you know what, I have to do what's right for my relationship. Like, I feel like their relationship with you is very important. And if, if the judgment that went in their favor is going to damage this relationship, they would let that go. They would not want to, but if, the, if, it was, if it's going to seriously damage the relationship, they would. Now, <clears throat> I feel like you're very well aware of this. In the sense of like how dedicated your partner is, some of the concerns that they're having. I feel like talks, I feel like they're communicating with you. I don't feel like that's a problem. But I'm also seeing you very strong with the strength card. And them, like these are the two things that are helping you both. They're waiting to, to see if this is going to be okay, if this is going to work out, if they can keep the judgment that went in their favor. You have the strength card in, in what's making things better for you. Sure, you're not over the moon about it, and it's not, it's not the most optimal thing. Maybe it's a little overtaxing at the moment. But the strength card is telling me you're not, you're not about to give up. It may be a little bit hard, but you're not going to make your partner drop something that they want just because you're not enjoying this as much as you'd like to. You got the stamina to get through this. You'll make this work out. They just need to hold on and give you time to make it work out. And they're going to work with you to help you find a better way for this to work out. Because I feel like this is going to work out better as time goes forward. And one of the things, well, where I see this actually going to making this work out better, you have the Queen of Swords, which is a very positive card the way I feel about her. To me, she's somebody that's very emotionally invested, but looks at something and tells her truth is very careful how she says something. To me, she can be a very forthcoming person, but she's very smart. She knows how to say something, to make sure she's understood, to make sure things improve. And I feel like that's where you're coming from, because I feel like you're volleying back and forth with your partner. You got different ideas, you got imagination going here, you got Isis inspiration, you're divinely inspired, and you got the grace. So you're very careful and very cautious about what you're saying, but you're getting other ideas. You're finding different ways to make the situation work out. You're reevaluating what the responsibilities were you took over. You're finding different ways to handle them, and you're finding different ways to, to balance out the system so that you're happy again. And I'm getting this is very good for your partner. They have the Ten of Cups. They're very happy. They're keeping, what they, they're keeping that judgment that went in their favor. Things are being rebalanced, and they're seeing you very happy again because things are being rebalanced. And I feel like that's the end goal here is to rebalance things out. Um, whatever it is you took over from your partner, some, there's a factor here that's not pleasing to you. Whatever that factor is, you're rebalancing the situation and you're finding a better way. You're working with your partner on this, though. You're open and honest with the communication. I do understand that you're very careful about what you're saying and how you're saying it. Got a lot of grace there. That's great. Um, but I, I feel like the situation when you first take it over versus where it ends up is different. And I feel like it's being open to that and just working with it and molding the clay to make the situation different. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, when I'm connecting to this, like I know I'm not giving you actually what you're doing, but it's a general read, so I guess that's why. The fact, I feel like the big part of this read is just to keep the communication open with your partner and realizing, you know, just bouncing off ideas about things you can change. They seem very well aware that you're not happy. Something is too much, but you don't want them to give up what they got. So it's just rebalancing things. It will work out. They will keep what they have. You will change things around. That You will work with them to make that happen, and this will work out. Are we good? Good. Okay, I feel like this is good. All right, so we're going to let that one go. Let's do Aries single. Messages for single Aries. What do we have for single Aries? 
messages for single earrings. I pray for the truth to flow through, for the people who watch, for the Aries who watch, of course. Empowering information to tell them the truth about what's happening and help them move forward in the direction that they want to go in. This seems to all mesh in together, I'm noticing. We'll see what that has to do with the price of the rice. Um, that's it. That's it. I feel this is good. You get a lot of very positive, very strong positive cards here. <coughs> You got one little wet blanket in the situation, but it's not that bad. So, I'm, I'm drawn to the outcome. I'm really drawn to the outcome. And I feel like just maybe putting this in perspective of where you're going, the situation is going to lack, lock in, but I feel like it's once it finally locks in, it's going to build very, very slowly. But it's going to be, you're going to be secure with it. So as we're going, this is where we're heading. So <laughs> just to know when it finally locks in, because it might, I feel like it might be a ways out there. When it finally locks in, it's going to be a very slow build, but a very dependable build. Very slow, though, is what I'm getting. And it feels like this situation is very much just in its infancy, to, to be honest. Because what I'm getting for where you're standing and where, where you're thinking is you got the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, excuse me, Ace of Wands where you're standing and the Queen of Wands, what you're thinking, you're, you're passionate about moving forward. You know what you want and you're ready to go for it. Now this is meshing in with the, the environmental card. The person you're interested in doesn't know if it's really a good time for this. And I feel like th their fears might be playing on them a little bit. That imagination in this sense is telling me you're, the person you're interested in, they are interested in you too, but they're, they, they're thinking this might be a little bit ill-chosen Ill for timing. And they're worried about like the repercussions for going forward too fast too soon. Now, somebody here, I feel like somebody here is coming off of a breakup of some sort. A breakup of some sort. One of you is definitely coming out of a relationship and it feels fairly fresh. And I feel like these are the concerns. These are, The other person seems a lot more concerned about it than you are. And I'm getting here that <coughs> the person coming towards you has got a lot of a lot of like relationship building ideas. Like when they're connecting towards you, they want this to last and they don't want excess... They, want, they don't want external problems to come in and affect their relationship they want to start with you, which is one of the reasons I feel like they want to kind of hold things off and they want to push things back a little bit because they don't want there to be external influences causing problems between you or other things for that you both have to handle or, or you know balance out because other people are getting upset about a situation. There's, there's like they're, they're looking to start a, a very stable build with you, and I feel like they're looking at this... I feel like they're actually already on the same page where they want to create a relationship with you. They do like that idea. They do want to go that way. But it's, again, they don't want this. They want to have a, a firm base. They don't want other people having problems with this. They don't, they're worried that coming off, whoever it is coming off that relationship, that like that might be influencing the situation, that this might be you know, ill-fated to begin with because of that. Now, the thing is, when the two of you come together, you got the, the sun card. You got the sun card. There's a lot of passion, a lot of magnet, a lot of magnet, magnetivity, magnetivity. Nope. There's a there's a very strong connection. There you go. It's very intense. <laughs> I can't spit out the other word I wanted to say. But I'm getting this nine of swords. Like I feel like this is this other person. They can't help but be attracted to you. They can't help but want to be around you. But they're really, really, really feeling like this is a bad idea. This is a bad way to start this relationship. 
they want to start a relationship with you, but they want one that's going to last. And they're afraid this is going to cause problems. It's coming too fast. It seems like it's ill-fated in the timing to them. And what I'm getting is, they seem to be coming towards you. Is he doing that sign? Yep, he, well, he's doing this sign. Whatever that is. The Hierophant. It's at the top here. They are being very honest with you is what I'm getting. They want this to happen, but they need it to go a lot slower, and they want it to be private just between you and them for now. And I feel like they're explaining to you why. So they're like, we have to slow this down a lot, and I don't want other people to know we're seeing each other. And this is why I want that. And I feel like it makes sense on the why. It's not like, it, it's not like they're ashamed of you or anything like that. It's just like, they're like, this is going to cause problems, and I don't want that. I need it for now. It needs to be private, just between us. And I feel like it's up to you whether that's okay or not. <clears throat> now, as I'm going forward here, a little farther, I am getting that this does, this does lock in between the two of you. And I feel like this, the world... The world popping in with the good cheer is like there's a time period between this conversation and when it becomes more public. This doesn't feel like it pops in for you until it's public. Because until it's a public thing and people know you're seeing each other, it, it, feel, it doesn't feel like it's really locked in yet. But I'm getting the world coming in with the good cheer is when this becomes more public. And there is a, there is a period of time before that does happen. Um... And when that does lock in, that's where this is where we're coming towards this outcome. It's not gonna even when that happens, it's still still going very slowly, but it's very dependable, it's very secure. I feel like if you're just seeing this from the beginning, realizing this is gonna be very slow, slow going to get where you want it to be, you can make your decision whether this is what I feel like you already want this. If this reading is hitting, I feel like you already want this. It's just preparing yourself and getting used to that pace. That's the whole thing. It's good, though. I feel like the question might be, is this going to happen or is this person going to be like, forget it? I don't feel like they're going to be like, forget it, but it's going to go very slowly. And I feel like that's the whole thing. If you can get, if you can get in that in your brain where you understand, like you see that coming, not like you can't understand it clearly, but like... It's like being in that mindset and realizing this is what's going to happen. This is how it's going to go. It's going to go a lot slower and it's just going to constantly go slow. As long as you can get to a place where you're okay with that, I feel like this won't be that bad for you. I feel like you'll actually enjoy this relationship a lot more. Just seeing it for what it is and just being like, well, I know it's going to go this slow pace. I'm already aware of that. I'm not expecting jumps ahead. Because if you're expecting jumps ahead, you're going to get disappointed and that's going to be frustrating. But if you see it for what it is ahead of time, you're going to be okay. All right, they're telling me to wrap it up, so I'm going to wrap it up there. So thank you for watching. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, go ahead and shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.